For the love of Lufa, this is the day before Thanksgiving. We're at the tail end of a rainstorm that came in yesterday, is leaving today. It's supposed to clear up this afternoon, then we're supposed to have a good week's worth of dry and uh, cool weather, but and not much clouds. So I'm out back. You can see my giant winter melon still getting bigger. That thing's huge. But I got all these lufas here that are just kind of starting to turn yellow. I just picked this one, which I like this whole thing of just picking like one or two at a time because then I don't get overwhelmed. There's one getting yellow. The rest of these are still kind of green. These are two which I was going to pick today, but the bottom of them is still kind of solid and meaty. So I think um, I'll just give them a little bit more time to drain off the remaining juices and then we got these guys here which they probably won't amount to much i should probably eat just eat them more babies still coming out this thing just doesn't know when to stop they'll probably turn out like that one though because it's too cold all the time for them to keep growing and these over here just beginning to yellow again more babies more babies, more babies. And then all of these here, which most of them are still pretty green, but these two here kind of yellowing. There's a batch up there starting to yellow. And this bugger's a long one. A long one there, some shorties. A big one there. And some more there, some small ones. We eat them. I don't know. Oh, uh, gotta get that guy up off there. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. I don't like him laying on the ground. Yeah, you come back up here. Let's put you over the fence then. No, okay. There you go. Let's hang you over here. And and these guys here, still green, still green, kind of turning yellow, green. Green, these are little small guys, not gonna come up too much, but just beginning to kind of yellow. And those guys, brown, too small. And this one, and there's the other one. There's one more like, kind of like, oh, here, this one. These are, are the, um, I think the organic loofah or something because they're long, thin, tend to hold that light yellow color all the way through. And then we got this guy here, which is trapped in the net. I'm gonna have to free it up to harvest it. That one's starting to yellow, kind of yellowing. Gotta go over here because I saw one that was all the way at the ground someplace. Where did I see that? Oh, here, this one. This one. Actually, the stem is dried, so it really doesn't matter if it stays out here or not, but for lack of any place better to put it, I will leave it there. Yeah, and then this is the, I mean, I should just harvest this one and eat it, because it might be a little too old, but it was pretty good the last time I had one. And then we got these guys out here. I did pull one and post a picture of it the other day. One had turned brown, but they're kind of starting to yellow. But you can see the vines are pretty much all just about had it. Um, there are some babies out here still, but they, I really can't imagine are going to make it. And getting down into here, we got the apples, apple, and then King Kongs. King Kongs look like um, they're probably a good one to harvest and eat when they first come out. Maybe like this size or something would be good. A little bit smaller, I don't know. But it seems like as far as size go, they get just about there. If they have enough grow time, maybe they could be 
along the line of a Virginia Husky. They are kinda, kinda big. Okay, and we'll head up front. Look at those. Well, moving up front, I thought I'd just point out this guy here is, I can just feel the skin is like all loose and ready to just peel right away from the fiber. But it's also very, very light. It's um, kind of lost all of the meat. So hopefully we just have good seeds and um, sponge there. Hey, turkey. She got a pardon. She won't be on the dinner plate tomorrow. Okay, now we're almost up here. Let's take a look. There's some kind of getting brown and on the yellow side. This one's pretty darn hard. It's gonna take a while. Got this guy here, which is starting to look pretty good. It's getting real light, but it's still kind of tough. Oh, this one finally fell. It was hung up there like that for a long time. Um, and then all these guys here, these are all my big old Virginia Huskies. And they got the side sinking in, which is a good sign. And then we got some apple in here too. This one got roughed up against the net, so not ready to harvest, but yet it's gotten a little rot. Um, some more turning yellow, yellow. But I think they're really, I really love these big, thick ones like that. I mean, they're, if I was more of the arts crafts type people, I would probably make little pouches and things to put stuff in. I got some staying on the ground. These are that more apple, Virginia Husky, Virginia Husky, Virginia Husky, Virginia Husky, apple, and another winter melon. I also have another couple, two, three winter melons back there by the, um, more huskies, more huskies, more huskies, more huskies, more huskies. And then some up here. I did harvest some from up here. I can cut this vine off really, but there's um, a couple of yellowing ones there. I even have one that found its way all the way over onto the bush over here. So I'm just waiting to see what that's gonna do. So the next week of dry weather, I think we'll be the last big push for these guys to start maturing and getting down to business here so I can harvest them. And then I got these guys here, which I harvested throughout the week and put over here. But I wanted to point out that this one and that one over there um, had actually started to kind of rot. Um, so what I did is I just took them and dimped dipped them in a little bit of um, bleach that I had some um, sponges soaking in. And so I just gave them a little coating of bleach on the outside, a little bleach and water, and then that stopped it from rotting. And then it's been sitting out here ever since. And it's doing pretty good. I can peel these all real right now, but I didn't do it yesterday before or when the rain was in here. And I should do it, but I'm going to let it drier this today before I do that. This one here was the organic white, which if you've seen some of my old photos I have them back on the bamboo trellis, they came out like with a white skin predominantly with a little bit of green towards the top. And they are probably a, more of an edible variety. I have yet to see what the seeds look like and everything. I'm going to wait and peel this this afternoon. But but this was pro probably more for eating. I, don't, I just don't think that they will really get that big to use for sponges. And that's where we are. Everything's kind of collapsing and falling apart, but um, we get another week of sun and then we'll get into these, do some more harvesting as they get ripened. And that's, for the love of Luther. <laughs>